a set of 2-5-1 progressions, we're going to use the key, key of F, and uh, so that would be G minor 7 to C7 to F major 7, or F6, and we're going to use the second inversion um, that we have. So we, before we did the, um, let me turn on my guitar here, before we did this version of A, G minor, we're going to do this version of G minor. So um, I'm playing on the bottom string, I'm playing B flat, then F, on the fifth string, G on the fourth string, and then D on the on the third string. Okay. Fret-wise, we're talking six, eight, uh, five, seven, and then the C7 chord would be here, and that would be um, B flat, E, G, and C. Fret-wise, we're talking six. Seven five five, and then we could go down to this stretcher for the uh, F major seven. Would be A E F and C um, five seven three five. Uh, but we could also go up to this one, which is a little easier to play, and that would be C F A and then E. There's the seventh on top. So um, this one fretwise is eight eight seven uh, nine. I really like that one, and we might go to this. Eight, eight, seven, seven. That would be an F six chord. So uh, here's uh, G minor seven, C seven to C six or F six. Okay, so um, we could go. Um, let's do uh, G minor seven to C. Six and that the top note never doesn't change on this one. So we have our G minor seven, and then the C six. I mean the C nine would be uh, B flat, E, G, and D. <clears throat> the D being the ninth, and that's the same as the sixth of the F chord. Okay, so the fifth of this G minor seven chord is a D. The second of the C seven chord is a D, and the sixth of the F six chord is a D. Um, now I might do something like this, I might sharp that, uh, when I play the C7 chord, I could go to a sharp 9, so take that 9, that D, and go to D sharp, so we have G minor 7, C7 sharp 9, and then up to the F major 7, and so we have that chromatic movement, in the, kind of melodically, it's beautiful. I could also take this D, G minor 7 and flat the 5, a little bit of a stretch, okay, and then go, so so I'm playing B flat, F, G, and D flat on top, that's the flat 5, fifth is on top, and I could go to C7 with a sharp 9, and then go to uh, the F6, um, and that creates melodically D flat to D sharp to D, nice kind of neighboring tone movement there. So we have, here's the, okay, so that would be that. Um, let's, let's take the, um, uh, let's, let's do a, a C sharp five, sharp nine. To the F major seven. So G, G minor seven. C7, so here's the, the B flat, which is the, th the seventh, E the third. We're going to take this at G, which is the fifth, we're going to go up a half step and make it a sharp. And then remember our D, we took up the ninth, we took up to D sharp, that's the sharp nine. So that's C, C7 with the sharp five and sharp nine. And that leads really nicely, a lot of tension there, to the, to the F major seven. C, F, A, E. Now I could do that, um, maybe do um, something like that and go to the 6 too. So if I did G minor 7 to the C7 sharp 5 sharp 9. So um, we could go G 
minor seven with a sharp five to C seven with a flat nine, and maybe down to this C, F major seven. And we can turn this into a six by lowering the pinky note down two frets, and that ends up being F six right there, which is kind of nice. So we could do. Um, I could go to a C seven with a flat nine. Okay, there's G, G minor seven. C7 with a flat 5 and a flat 9. F major 6, or F6. One more time. And, uh, there we go. Don't grab this chord very often. Probably not the most practical G minor seven chord to grab. But it can create some nice movement. And we're good. Okay. So practice those, uh, start start working on those and I'll I'll put in, in the uh, description uh, down there. In the uh, description of the YouTube video I'll put the fret numbers and the names of the chords and everything so you can kind of uh, look at them that way. Okay, talk to you soon. God bless you.